Okay, the sun is shining. Check. The kids are all at the playground. Check. And they're all having a wonderful time. Check. Wait, they're not. Except for him. Hector is riding by and he hears all the kids having a little moan. <gasps> and he stops and thinks, what's all that about? Better have a look. Well, the kids wanted something new to play with, and they tried to explain. Well, it's it's got to be fun. Fun. And Hector thought and thought, and then he thought, hey, I have an idea. Yay! And off Hector went to get a bouncy castle. Did you know that bouncy castles are made of rubbery stuff, and you fill them up with air so it's like a big balloon, and you bounce on it, and it's wicked fun. Hector hits the road and heads back to the playground. The kids weren't excited at all when Hector unloaded a bouncy castle. <laughs> That's a joke. They were really excited. Now, to build a bouncy castle, first, you need the bouncy castle. Next, you need the air compressor and a pipe to go between the two. You connect one end of the black pipe to the purple air compressor and the other end to the bouncy castle. Switch her on and the compressor blows air into the bouncy castle and ta-da! Bouncy castle! Yay! Thank you, Hector! All the kids got up into the bouncy castle and got to work having fun. And Hector had fun too. And they bounced and bounced and bounced. Hey, there's Hector, and there's Ray's. Hi, Ray's. Nice place you got there, says Hector. Ugh, these houses sure are pretty. Sup, Rapido. Like your Rapido Rancho house -o. And there's Hook in a nice house, and Stitch in a nice house. <sighs> Hector sighs. I feel a bit sad. Why is that? Ah! <gasps> I know why I feel sad. I need to build myself a forever home. That's what I need to do. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So Hector heads off to pick up the bits that he'll need to build a forever home. Ray's is helping. Thanks a lot, Ray's. That's a big help. Let's get these materials onto the flatbed and get to building. Roll them out, Hector, roll them out, Hector, roll them out, Hector, roll them out, Hector. Let's make a forever home! So, for Hector to build a new house, he'll need the frames. Next, he'll need the ceiling and the windows and the doors. Next, there are the pillars. Very stylish. There are four of those to help hold up the roof. And more windows and doors. Now it's time for the picket fence. That kind of fence is called a picket fence. And we have to have a lift. <laughs> and we have to have a great big version of Hector's hat. And finally, the signs that say, Hector. Hector has a forever home. Go, Hector. Go, Hector. Go. Um, excuse me, says Hector. I don't think I want to go right now. I'd kind of like to stay right here. Bye. Okay, Ray's has a problem. A whole bunch of packing crates have been dropped off, and Ray's has to make sure that each one gets delivered to the right place. Ray's thinks to himself, I can lift him, but I can't deliver him. Gee, I wonder if Hector can have a... Oh, hi, Hector. I need some help delivering these crates. Do you think Tipper might help? Yeah, I bet he would, says Hector. I'll go get him now. So Hector goes off to get all the parts he needs to make Tipper. First, we've got to get all the parts into Hector's flatbed. And up they go. Wow, that's a lot of parts. 
Then it's back to Ray's place to move those crates. Sure is a pretty day, isn't it? When Hector gets back to Ray's, he unloads all the parts and gets to work. To build Tipper, you start with the bed. Then you put on the body and the container and door. That's where the crates will go. Then there's a bumper. In case you go bump. Then we put on two wings to cover the big wheels. And headlights. And four wheels. One, two, three, four. Two on one side and two on the other. Then we need two wing mirrors. Clunk, clink. And a siren. And there's Tipper. Ta-da! Hi, Tipper. Rays quickly loads the crates onto Tipper. And off Tipper goes. And then he stops and thinks. Oh, that's right. Medical supplies for Stitch. So Tipper drops off the first crate with Stitch. And then he delivers some new parts in the second crate for Squish. Thanks, Hector, says Ray's. And Hector says, Happy to help. Bye. Oh, there's Rapido on his way back to the station. When suddenly, vroom! Wheeler goes rushing by, and Rapido thinks, um, oh dear, I better put on my siren and stop Wheeler going so fast. Wheeler, stop! No, says Wheeler. It's a lovely day, and I'm faster than you. This is a race. A race? Says Rapido. I'm an officer of the law. I'm not supposed to race. Then don't, says Wheeler. I'm faster than you anyway, because I can go vroom and vroom and big rock in the middle of the road. Uh -oh. Rapido turns around really fast and heads back to the top of the cliff. You okay? Says Rapido. Yeah, says Wheeler. But can cars climb trees? Don't know, but I think I should call Hector. Calling all Hectors, calling all Hectors. And there's good old Hector on his way to help. Okay, Rapido, this looks like a job for Tug, the tow truck. Be right back. So Hector heads off to get all the parts needed to make Tug the tow truck. There's quite a few. Let's get rolling. Roll them out, Hector, roll them out, Hector, roll them out, Hector, roll them. Nice to see you back, says Rapido. To build Tug the tow truck, you start with the flatbed. Then you put on the cabin. And of course, the bumper. Next, we put on the wings. Some people call them wheel arches. There's four of them, and they go over the wheels. And, of course, we won't get far without the wheels. There are four of those, too. Two on each side. Next, we have the hydraulics. That's the machinery that makes the boom go up and down. And we have two headlights, two wing mirrors, clunk, clink, a super-duper siren and light assembly. And finally, the main boom and hook. Ta-da! Hi, Tug! Tug is going to lower her hook down to Wheeler, who's a bit frightened. Then she's going to, um, hook him. And pull, and pull, and pull, and up comes... Wheeler, hooray! Thanks, Tug and Hector. Hey, Hector, you think Wheeler's gonna get a speeding ticket? Yup. One day, Hook was on his way to see his friend Ray's when he came across a big hole in the road. When he looked in the hole, he saw that it had been caused by a broken water pipe. Hook thought for a second and decided right there that the first thing to do was to fix that water pipe. So he rushed off to the warehouse where they keep the new water pipe and picked up a section that was just the right size. When he got back to the hole, he put down the new piece very gently. 
Then he reached into the hole and grabbed the broken piece with his hook and pulled and pulled. When it was free, he set it down very gently as well. We can recycle that, he thought. Next, he picked up the new piece and set it into place. And it fit perfectly. Ta-da! Oh dear, he quickly thought. The water pipe is fixed, but there's still a big dangerous hole here. I know, I'll ask Hector for help. Soon, Hector was on the way. What can I do you for, Hook? Asked Hector. I think we need Carrie to dump a big load of dirt in this hole to fix it and make it safe, said Hook. Soon, Hector was on his way to get the parts for Carry the Dump Truck. Up they go onto Hector's flatbed. He sure is strong. And then back to the hole in the road, he zooms. Now, to build Carry the Dump Truck, you start with the cab. Then you attach the flatbed. After that, you put on the big bucket that holds all the dirt. Of course, every working truck needs a bumper. And some wings to cover the back tires. Next, you need the wheels. There are four of those. One, two, three, four. Two on each side. Now you put on the big, heavy dump truck bucket door. Plus two wing mirrors. Clunk, clink. And finally, a siren that's also a light. Gotta be safe when you're backing up. Ta-da! Hi, Carrie. Carrie rushes off to get some dirt to fill the hole, and then rushes back. Okay, let's get this show on the road, says Hector. Carrie backs up to the hole and tips his big bucket full of dirt, and the big door opens and the dirt goes sploosh and into the hole, and there you go, the hole in the road is fixed. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Hook. Thank you, Hector. Oh, look, there's Petal. He's going to meet Rocket at the movie theater. And he's late. If only Fetch the Yellow Taxi were here, she could get Petal there quicker. Hmm. <laughs> there's Hector the tractor. Maybe he could help. Hector, I think Petal needs to get to the movie theater very fast. Can you help? We sure could use Fetch. Oh, thank you. Now, let's get the parts we need to build Fetch the yellow taxi. Up we go onto the flatbed. Boy, I sure hope that Fetch can help pedal out. Don't you? Okay, now let's get ready to build Fetch the yellow taxi. First, we start with the body. And then we put on the bumper. Everybody needs a good bump. And then the wheels. There are four of those. Two on each side. Now for the two wing mirrors. And of course, Fetch will need two headlights. And a taxi isn't a taxi without a sign that says, Taxi! Hi, Fetch. Looking good in yellow today. Let's get Pedal into Fetch's back seat. Wait a minute. How did Pedal just... Oh, never mind. We've got to get going. Go fetch, go fetch, get pedal to the boobies. Yay, we're here and on time. Wait a minute, how did pedal just... Oh, never mind. Rocket and pedal are ready to watch that movie. Thank you, fetch. That was fetch. Bye. It's very lightning-y, isn't it? Oh, there's some more. 
and it set fire to the farm. Wheeler is on his way to go trick-or-treating, and that fire is looking like it might be out of control. Poor Wheeler. He's going to come around that corner and run straight into... Ah! A fire at the farm! What can Wheeler do? He could make cookies, or he could dance. Oh, there's Hector the tractor. Maybe he can help. Hector, there's a fire at the farm, says Wheeler. Now, I could make cookies, or I could dance, but I think we need to make hose the fire engine. Quickly! Hector races off to get the parts to build hose the fire engine. Quickly. Let's get those parts on the flatbed. Quickly. Then, Hector races back to Wheeler in the farm. Oh, I said races, Hector. Now, in order to build Hose the Fire Engine, we start with the body. Next, there's the big red storage compartment. And of course, the ladder. Then, there's the bumper. <laughs> Have to watch out for bumps. Relax, Wheeler. And we have four wheels. Two on one side, two on the other side. Next, we have the wing mirrors. Clunk, clink. Two headlights. Very important at night. And a bell, and a light, and a siren. And of course, no fire engine without a hose could be called hose. <laughs> Ta-da! Hi, Hose. Wheeler says, I was driving along on my way to go trick-or-treating and put out that fire, says Hector. Whoosh goes the water from Hose's hose, right where it's needed to put that fire out. Naughty lightning. Soon the fire is out and Wheeler can go trick-or-treating with his friends. Thank you, Hose. Hey, Hector, who are you going to dress up as for trick-or-treating? Oh... I think I'm going to dress up like Hector. Green, Whirly, and Bo are a little nervous. They're waiting for train all by themselves. They've never gone on a train without Mom, and what's making them really nervous is that train hasn't arrived yet. Hector, says Green, we've been waiting for train to arrive for ages, and he hasn't. Can you help? Yep, says Hector. And off he goes to get the parts for Train. Now, Train has a lot of parts. I mean, a lot of parts. And they're big, and they're wicked heavy, too. Hector has to be really strong to carry all those parts. Especially that fast. Ugh, here we are. Now, to build Train and his carriages, you start with the bed. Then you add the cab. And the big, strong engine. That big round piece is where they make the steam in a steam engine. The next piece goes on the front. It's called the buffer. It's there to protect the front of the train. After that, we have the wheels. On train the engine, there are four of those. Two on one side and two on the other. Then we have to add the connecting rods. There's one on one side and one on the other. These help to put the power from train the engine into the wheels. Of course, we have to have the lights in the chimney, too. Ha <laughs> Train is starting to look like a train. Next, we have the beds for the carriages. Told you there were a lot of parts. And the bodies for the carriages. There are three carriages on this train, so three bodies. And then the doors for the carriages. There are six of those, two on each side. Next, each carriage needs four wheels, just like train. That's two on each side. When you add it up, that's 12 wheels. Each set of wheels needs a connecting rod, just like train's wheels do. And last, to join the three carriages together with train, you use big, strong bolts. Ta-da! Hi, train! Now, let's get moving here. Green, Whirly, and Bo get on to train's carriages once the doors are open. Then the doors shut, and we're off. Over a bridge and across a river. 
then through a tunnel under a mountain, and all thanks to Hector. Thanks, Hector. Oh, look, there's Stitch the ambulance. She's going very fast because she has to get to the hospital quickly. You see, the hospital is just on the other side of the bridge. Oh, no, the bridge is broken. It fell down. What should we do? Panic and run around? No, that won't help. We need a new bridge. Stitch thinks maybe Hector can help. Go, Hector. Go, Hector. Help Stitch. Help Stitch. And there's Hector. Hector, help Stitch. Help Stitch. Hector, I need to get to the other side of the bridge quickly and the bridge fell down and can you... Thank you, Hector. Hector is going to get all the parts needed to build Skylar the helicopter. Roll him out, Hector. Hector, roll him out. Hector, roll him out. Hector, roll him out. Here we go, says Hector. To build Skylar the helicopter, you start with the body. Then you put on the landing skids. There are two of those, and they go underneath. Then you need the tail boom. It doesn't actually go boom. It's the tail piece at the back. Next, you put on the tail rotor. That's the little propeller at the back. And finally, you put on the main rotor blade. That's what makes Skylar go into the sky. And ta-da! There's Skylar the helicopter. Skylar is going to get a replacement bridge. And believe me, it's very, very heavy. But Skylar can do it because she's so strong. Careful! And there we go. Job done. Thank you, Skylar. Now Stitch can get to the hospital. You're very welcome, says Skylar. Bye. Now Stitch can cross the bridge and get to the hospital on time. Hey, Stitch, why were you in such a hurry? Um, I forgot. <laughs> Bye, Hector. 